so when I got that diagnosis, it was just like, I just felt really deflated. And I did, I actually didn't handle being diagnosed with it very well at all. I just, yeah, I was very dramatic about it. Um, because what I did was I just kept all of this inside and I didn't understand how I felt. And I was never going to understand how I felt because I would never vocalize it. And I felt like back then, and I still do feel like it a bit, if I speak to people about how I feel, I'm a burden. Like I don't want to tell people I'm upset because I don't want to make them upset or worry. So back then I would do that, but to an extreme extent where it was almost like I was always smiling, but it was because I was trying to deflect how sad I actually was. And people were like, you're so positive. You're so happy. And I was like, okay, cool. That's good. That's what I want people to think. But actually inside I felt awful and I was scared. And I just would tell myself like, don't be scared. It's such a normal thing. And if anything, the people around you are going to respect that you're speaking out about it because it's going to help your relationships with them. It's going to help you to love yourself. And yeah. I think is that something you'd want to talk about more like as your career goes on? I'm like, I don't know if you can tell. I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting nervous talking about it now yeah. because I've never actually really spoken about this. Like, especially like I've told Will and stuff, but it is scary because it makes you very vulnerable. And I know that the way I dealt with things in the past, like wasn't actually the best way, um, but I have learned so much from it. And I would always give, if anybody was ever struggling with anything, honestly, if I can give everyone a big hug, I would. But the thing is like, it all does come down to being kind and so patient with yourself and just like reminding yourself that like, it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to be confused about how you feel. Cause I think that was the hardest thing. I was just so confused and I didn't understand why. And cause I couldn't vocalize why I was confused or what was going on in my head. I would feel like I hadn't, I, I actually didn't know how to speak out. But um, what would you say to somebody who's listening that feels exactly the way you felt? I would tell them that you are not alone and the way you feel is it's not weird. It's not bad because I felt so isolated. I felt like I was the only one that felt that way and it, there was something wrong with me because I was so confused and I had all these emotions and my reactions were different. I want them to know that, no, like how you feel today, it's not going to be that way always. And there are other people out there who may feel quite similar and I just would never want anyone to feel isolated. Like you're not alone. That's what I would say. I would say you're not alone. And there is a way out and there is sunlight at the end of the tunnel. Even if you don't see it, I promise you, there is. Yeah. Are you okay, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay.